All right, so I'm back to trying to make some videos here. I got summer coming up. I'm a teacher uh, here in New York. We got about I don't know about four more weeks maybe until I'm completely done. Um, so it's very difficult during the school year to make uh, very many videos, especially with Saturdays being for sourcing and listing and then packing all week and that kind of stuff. And you can see it back here. I mean, I've got the stuff that I bought today, but I've also got uh, a mess on my work table here. So. I want to try to be a little bit more regular here so today i'm going to show you what i found i would say it was a uh, decent day not a great day not a bad day somewhere in the middle uh, it's kind of a weird weather day here started out nice got rainy for a few hours got nice got rainy again so i you know, did what i could some sales were were uh, closed up because of the rain so you never know about that stuff so um here we go the uh, one of the uh, state sales i went to i thought it was the second day it was privately run but it turned out it was the fourth day. They had run it last week as well. So i um, kind of bummed out about that. But I did find some good stuff there. Now, one thing I found is this Para Spa Mini. I, uh, it's brand new. From what I can tell, it opened up from the bottom. It's factory sealed on the top. Sold something similar to this a few weeks ago. It wasn't this brand. It was a little bit more vintage -y, but it was brand new. I sold it locally for $70. I think I paid $15 and I sold it for $70. This isn't worth that kind of money. But I only paid five dollars for it, and I think it's worth you know an easy thirty dollars, and I don't have to mess with it. You know, I'll just double check that it's new inside and list it like this, and um, they sell fairly well. So I'm gonna list it locally and uh, put it on eBay and make you know twenty, thirty bucks, something like that. Uh, I picked up this combo unit here. I was actually sitting in the garage. They were still kind of putting stuff out. There was a mob scene. I went to this uh, neighborhood sale. That I swore I would never go to again. And when I put the address in, I didn't realize it was this neighborhood. I thought it was a different neighborhood. So when I showed up, I was like, oh, man, not this neighborhood. But I was there, so I went through, and I made out a little bit better this time. Anyways, there was a sale. There was a mob scene at this sale. They were, so they were giving stuff away, which they really weren't. And uh, they had this in the garage. They were still putting stuff out, so it wasn't priced. So I asked them, is it for sale? And they said, yeah, what do you want? Three bucks. So I said, okay. You know, they gave me that, you know. It works though to their credit they stopped and said well last time we used it you know i don't even know why i asked if it works because they always tell me it works and at least 25 percent of the time it doesn't work so i'll probably try to sell this locally i've been selling these locally pretty well uh, without a remote i can probably get 35 dollars pretty easily um, with the remote more like 50 to 60 dollars so i'll probably first sell try to sell it locally especially without the remote i hate selling them on ebay without the remote um, and sometimes the remotes are expensive i think i looked this one up and it was like 15 bucks or something and i really don't want to have 20 dollars in, in, into this it's not the most desirable of models so uh, i think local will be where i go with it initially uh, got a bobblehead in that same neighborhood sale it's actually the first thing i bought there it's a punch i guess the cigar guy Went to the sale and the guy was like puffing on a huge cigar and he had these old cigar boxes and everything was like seemed to be pretty much cigar related. Initially, I walked away from it. I bought bobbleheads before, but usually they're sports figures. But I took a look at the comps on this and it looked like I could probably sell for twenty or twenty five and it looks completely brand new. I don't, you know, this thing didn't even really want to open, so I mean, not even take it out and just sell it like this. Um, as new which i believe that it is so i paid two bucks for that i think it's worth 20 to 25 dollars um, that same sale i bought the combo unit i picked this up not a huge sales history but one did sell this week for 20 bucks they only wanted a dollar so that's easy money it's easy to list it's brand new so i'll take my whatever 10 or 15 dollars that's fine that same sale they had a like an elton john dvd set of some sort sealed and they wanted five dollars and I offered them three and they're like nope nope okay I, I, a lot of that today like just people not wanting to negotiate shut me right down on it um actually another tough negotiation was on this fitbit zip which looks like it's brand new but it's actually not i got this one and a pink one at the same sale and i opened them up and it's got all the stuff that it needs um but they're not new uh initially i walked away it's kind of crazy pricing at this sale they had like a first baseman's mitt they wanted 50 bucks for which is kind of crazy you know it's in another kind of really nice house uh, so i went back up and i offered them three and they're like eh. so they tried to get four out of me and then i realized they had another one so i said hey about two of them for seven so they said okay 
And it looks like they sell for about $30 used. I gotta get a battery for it, but um, they sell well. So I don't know a lot about the Fitbit stuff, but I'm gonna power it on and once it powers on, it's, it's, it's going up. Uh, this is something on a day without big scores. This was my score of the day. Uh, I always assume that other resellers know about these kind of things, but obviously this was day four of the sale, so they must not have known about this. This is a Black & Decker Slimline Space Maker. I think can opener, maybe um, knife sharpener, maybe. Uh, EC950. I got it for $5. It's brand new. I opened it up just to make sure, but it's it's brand new. And these sell for about $90 to $100, and they sell fairly easily. Uh, the Space Maker stuff is awesome. Uh, I love it, and it doesn't seem like a lot of resellers around me seem to know about it. Whether it's the coffee makers, uh, I've sold can openers. Um, I, I love it, especially when it's brand new. I've sold used before too, but brand new. I mean, this is going to be such easy money for something so small like this and to get it on that fourth day. I wish I could have found more. They really wanted, they had still had a ton of stuff after four days. It was a 93 year old lady who had died and had no kids. Um, but they had some stuff that was just priced crazy high and a lot of vintagey stuff. But and I spent some time there because it was raining at that time. So I'm just happy to stay inside, but um, just couldn't make it happen. I just couldn't find more than this. I uh, certainly would have liked to because they were looking to get rid of stuff at that point. Uh, that same sale, I found this. Just kind of a strange buy. It's a Hamilton Beach can opener, one of those old fashioned ones. I remember having one of these when I was a kid. So I don't know, these must be 30, 40 years old at least. I don't know, I'm not an expert. Uh, this is brand new inside. I believe it's brand new. I took it out and opened it up, it looks super clean. Um, so I'm gonna list it as new open box. It doesn't have a huge sales history. I found a similar model that sold for like, I think 50 in the same kind of open box condition. I don't expect to get 50 out of this, but I only paid three. I just I couldn't pass it up. So um, I don't know what I'm going to get for it. I'm hoping 30 bucks maybe if I get lucky. Um, but like I said, three bucks. I wasn't exactly like filling up the, the van today. So I bought it. Next, I have this combo unit with the remote and the manual. It's a Fune. Funai, which is basically the same thing as a Magnavox. When I walked up to it, I thought it was a Magnavox. It's just a, a different brand. So, um, works great. I actually tested this one already and it works great. So I'm going to try to sell it locally for $50 or $60. Um, probably put it on eBay too, although I'd rather sell it locally. I don't, I don't mind packing and shipping these kind of things. But, um, like getting the cash too. Uh, it saves me from to go to the bank machine so much. So, um, yeah, I've already got it listed locally. And then eventually, here in the next few days, I'll probably, if I don't sell it, I'll list it on eBay as well. Pick this up. Didn't know much about it. Bunker Hill Security Color Security System. Paid $4 for it. It's brand new. Uh, I opened it up when I was at the sale and took a quick look. It was brand new, and then I got home and kind of confirmed it's all brand new in there. Looks like in this condition, this open box condition, I expect to get probably about 50 bucks for it. Um, so that was a pretty good pickup for $4. Pick this up. This does not have like a great sales history, but it's a Jeep TV AM FM weather band flashlight Phantom. fluorescent and it's brand new in the box. It's brand new and open box. It looks like it was probably a gift. That was never used, I believe. I haven't looked at it super close, but everything looks like it's in there. People are trying to sell these from anywhere from looks like $40 to $60. I think the $60 has free ship on it. So I'm just going to price mine cheaper. Like $30 bucks and I paid $2 for it. So I'm just going to price mine cheaper so that when somebody does decide to buy one, hopefully mine is the first one to sell. I also got this set the Goodwill. Bought this camera. Olympus Finity Point Shoot Camera. Done pretty well with these Olympus Point Shoots. Sold them anywhere from $20 to up to $100, depending on the model. Never sold this model before, but it looks like it's worth a solid $30. Bucks. Unfortunately, I am going to have to probably buy a battery for it. Test it out, because it has a weird battery that I don't have on hand, so that's kind of unfortunate. Um, but I paid $3, and like I said, it should be worth $30, and 
Then I'll have that battery on hand. I won't sell it with the battery because the battery's, I don't know, like seven or eight bucks, something like that. So hopefully it works. But if it doesn't, I'll at least have the battery. And I'm sure I'll run into more of them. I also bought this Tumi coat. I don't know much about clothing. Uh, I do know Tumi bags have some value. So I figured I would uh, give this coat a shot. It was five bucks. It was at the first sale I went to. It was at a, like a rich house. It started at seven, which is very unusual around me. Usually sales start, if I'm lucky, at eight, oftentimes nine, sometimes ten. So I bought that for five dollars. Uh, it looks like it's probably worth thirty, maybe forty dollars. I gotta look at it a little bit more. So uh, I'll do okay on it. It's not my thing. My, uh, my thing is definitely not clothing, but it was the first sale of the day, and sometimes I end up with weird stuff when I make my first buy just to kind of be anxious. So that's what I bought for today. Like I said, kind of a, a medium day. Not great, not the worst. Uh, didn't find any necessarily home runs per se. Uh, I typically like to find stuff like this. That's about this a couple weeks ago. Um, and I bought four of them. You can see it's like an electric toothbrush or whatever. I love stuff like this. Stuff that's like fairly new. It's brand new in the package. And it just they sell over and over and over. So I've sold three of these and they sell for like I think I've sold anywhere from $60 to $70. And I paid $30 for four of them. Stuff like that. Uh, about a month ago, I bought a bunch of uh, new in the package Hanes tagless Supreme t-shirts and boxer briefs. That was awesome. Um, I think I bought 14 total and I've sold 12 of them. And they just they sell and they sell and they sell. I, I love stuff like that. That, that Those tend to be my, my bigger scores rather than like a, a one kind of item one-off kind of item I didn't find any of those today but I did okay I did okay uh, there's actually some sales around today because of the holiday weekend there some people are running them on Sundays there was a neighborhood sale that that uh, delayed a day because of the weather so I don't know if I can convince my wife and the family to go out for a couple hours I may try again but uh, I definitely gonna have to list the stuff that I showed you I tried to keep up as much as I can and not have a death pile so I think that's what the, the beginning part of the day will be if I don't go to sales. So, is that hopefully I'm going to try to stick with making some more videos. I would love to do some where I take it to the sales. But I'm still nervous about having that camera and getting asked questions and that kind of stuff. But uh, eventually I'll build up to it. Especially with summer I'll have more time to kind of get a little bit more creative with it. So, have a great Sunday.